Hello everyone, this is CA Dhananjay Bhave, Faculty for CA Intermediate Cost Accounting, Management Accounting and Financial Management. Hope all of you are doing good. I am here today with a new short video. In standard costing, lot of students had one common query that they have studied all the formulas, all the variance calculations, but they are not able to understand some of the theory concepts in that one of the important concept that many students wanted me to discuss or do a short video on was disposal of variances. We know how to calculate variance, but we don't know what to do after having calculated the variances. So I thought, why not make a short video to discuss that before we go to the content. I have a small announcement to make. Yashas Academy is in tie up with an academy for online classes. We have come up with a new batch called Electrify with Yashas. This batch is for May 2022 CA intermediate aspirants. Here we are doing a fast track class for all eight subjects starting from 16th February. The batch will go till 18th of April. Classes will be done 100% in English. All eight subjects will be covered in this one and a half month stretch. Here are the educators who will be teaching subjects in group one. Most of the educators, you are very, very familiar with them. So group one classes will happen in the evening, three to eight or 8.30 and group two classes will happen in the morning, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So here is the list of all the educators who are teaching group one and group two subjects. With one subscription on an academy, students will get the benefits of watching unlimited live classes and also unlimited recorded classes. There will be no watch time restrictions. With one subscription, you can watch classes of any number of educators for the same subject. If you want to watch classes of two, three educators, you can do so. Doubt solving will be done on weekly basis once in every four sessions or now with the new feature on an academy doubt solving can happen in live class. You can talk, interact, not just chat. You can talk to the educator and get your doubts sorted. So there are two types of subscriptions. One is plus and another is iconic subscription. The details of the subscription and the charges are available on screen. You can download this PDF from the description the link will be given in the description below this video you can go through this you need to install an academy learner app plus and iconic are the two subscriptions in iconic program you get the benefit of plus subscription as well as additional features like evaluated test series doubt solving personal coaching and printed books as well one-to-one -one live mentoring and evaluated test series are the two new features that have been added for iconic subscription students so why to wait log in to an academy or download the app an academy student app and take the subscription when you take subscription use code yeshas i am writing here y-e-s-h-a-s -S, to get maximum concession discount at the time of payment of fees. Yeshas is the code to be used. Right. So let's come to the main purpose of today's video. Disposal of variances. What is this? We know how to calculate variance. Example in material, material yield variance, mix variance, usage variance, price or rate variance. We know how to do it. Now the next point is after having calculated those numbers, suppose yield variance 9000 adverse what will I do with 9000? Should I write off that as a loss? Should I pass it on to my customers? What should I do with 9000? Okay, I will take actions. But what about this number 9000? It will be there in my books because my books are maintained in standard costing system. Now I have actual there is a difference. What should I do? See this. The cost records maintained and entries made under a system of standard costing vary from company to company depending upon the information that is desired from cost records and the intended use of standard cost and variance analysis. Variances which emerge in standard costing 
and recorded in the cost book may be disposed of in any of the following two ways. So the variance that you have 10,000 adverse, 5,000 favorable for material labor, variable overhead, fixed overhead. What should you do with that? Number one, you can transfer to costing p and account. Many students in CA Inter, you would have studied this. In many places we use this. I think you guys remember this very well. All those items which a business is incurring but cannot charge it to customer, we write the standard answer transfer to costing PL account. All abnormal items in cost sheet, we say transfer to costing PL. Correct? Under absorption in overhead topic due to management inefficiency or due to inflation, but the goods have already been sold, we say transfer to costing PL account. This answer is repeatedly used transfer to costing PL. Here also, you have adverse variances transfer that to costing PNL. That means you take it as your loss. Don't increase the price of your products. What if we have favorable variances? That's a gain. That's an advantage. Even that you transfer to your costing PNL. Obviously credit side because favorable variances are gains like profits, which means my stock will be at standard cost. My stock will not change. My price total cost will not change accordingly. Price will not change. See the explanation here. In this method, the stock of WAP, FG and cost of sale are maintained at standard cost and all variances will be charged to costing p &L at the end of the year. This method is favored because standard cost facilitates prompt inventory valuation and variances are separated out so as to attract the attention of management when management sees so much of money getting debited and credited as adverse and favorable variances respectively they will get to know these numbers have come because our standard is not matching with actual imagine if you share it or apportion it between stock items fg stock rm stock wap stock then management will never get to know how much is the impact of variances to my profits when you keep your stock items at standard cost and transfer all the variances to your PNL account, management will get to know in the PNL this loss is because of adverse variance or this month profit is only because of saving that is favorable variance. And this is actually easy. The reason why I said it is easy, easy. your FG valuation will not get disturbed, WAP valuation will not get disturbed. It will be at standard cost. So every year you keep showing your stock at standard cost. The variances you transfer to p and account. The second option is allocate the variances to finished stock, work in progress, cost of sale. Allocating means just like what you do in overhead topic under absorption, which is because of inflation that is increase in the cost what you do you take supplementary rate and apportion the difference between goods already sold which is nothing but cost of sale goods that are with you fg and then goods that are in process that is wip you share the cost between these three see this under this method the variances are distributed over stock of fg wip cost of sale in proportion to the closing balances i told you you take a ratio number of units sold, number of FG quantity, number of WAP quantity. In that ratio, the variances are shared. Now what happens when you share the variance? All adverse variances, which are like losses, get added to WAP, FG and total cost. All favorable variances, because they are benefits, you will reduce it from the total cost. So FG stock value will come down, WAP value will come down, total cost will come down. Now what is the impact of this? Observe, when you apportion all adverse variances to FG stock, WAP stock and total cost, your numbers in the cost sheet will go up. FG instead of 18 rupee, now it will be 19 rupee because you have added adverse variances. Adverse variances will increase the cost. And if you still want to earn same profit, you will have to increase the selling price. If you don't increase the selling price, selling price will be same. Total cost would have gone up because you have added adverse variances, profit will come down. Opposite way, if there are favorable variances, 
and when you transfer those to FG, WAP and cost of sale, your FG value, WAP value, total cost will come down. If selling price is still the same, automatically the difference profit number will go up, right? This will have a direct impact on your inventory because you're changing FG, WAP value. It will have impact on profit. It will have impact on selling price, right? In the first option, it will not have impact on any of this. Everything, value of WAP, value of FG, profit, selling price, everything will go as per standard cost plus profit margin anticipated. The difference is you keep taking it in PNL account every year. So these are the two ways. This can be a good four or five marks question. You need to explain both in detail. Yeah, I hope this is clear to you now. Many students don't study these kind of small theory areas, standard costing as per many students is just the table, the formula and the number. That's not true. This can be a very good four to five marks question. Do not ignore these kind of theory concepts. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. Bye bye.